<laughs> we are here in Essex Junction where the Sleep in Heavenly Peace Chittenden County chapter is having a build day. And in one and a half years, they have built 500 beds for kids in the area. Oh, look at that smile. <laughs> Everything's brand new, brand new frame, brand new mattress, all the linen, pillows, everything, the whole nine yards is all brand new. To see the smiles on the kids' faces, I mean, that's what drives us, that's, a, that's what we would love. <laughs> and what more precious thing than to get kids off the floor, you know, to give them a nice comfy bed to have sweet dreams in. It's beautiful what they did. <laughs> when we go and deliver these beds and uh, the excitement that it gives the kids, it's just, it's so much fun to see. You know, the, there's a need. Um, I've been a first responder for 20 years, so I've been in a lot of homes where, where the need was really apparent for me. When you come into a house and put a bed together for these kids and you see that they've either been on the floor or the bed that they were in was just in total a total wreck. When we first understood uh, the need, I was just blown away. I was flabbergasted that, that there would be that many uh, kids sleeping on the floor. Now, especially with COVID and reduced uh, hours for some people, maybe some people lost their jobs, finances are tight. You know, these people are in need. Thank you. No, go in. <gasps> And a few people that contact me and they say, you know, will I qualify? And the answer to them is, do you, do you need one? Yes, you qualify. Today we're building 40 beds. You know, we'll build anywhere between 80 to 100 beds in a month. Our waiting list is about 60 deep. And we uh, normally, on the average, get, you know, two to three requests every day. I don't like to say no to somebody if they, if they need a bed. You know, we'll get to you. We just may not be able to get to you as quick as the people in Chittenden and Franklin that we uh, you know, normally service. Weekends, I tend to take a crew up north. You know, we'll, we'll hit St. Albans, Swanton, Richford, Enosburg. Hey, we're delivering on Saturday up north if you're around, if you're available, or lumber right now has gone through the roof. Factor in the price of the mattress and the bedding and the wood, it's somewhere between $350 to $400 for a bunk bed, which is actually two beds. The only thing COVID has really done is slowed us down as far as deliveries because we just have to be a little more cautious. <laughs> Thank you, builders! Thank you, builders! We're the first chapter in Vermont uh, from a foundation uh, that got started in 2012 by a gentleman by the name of Luke Mickelson out in, uh, in Idaho. And then Mike Rowe, who does a show on Facebook called Returning the Favor, they did uh, a piece on him, and, and that's where I first saw it. And then my friend Danny, who was also retired and just, he's a woodworker. Danny, we've known each other probably since sixth grade. My other partner, Mike, we've known each other since high school. I mean, all our kids have grown up together. After each build, we just started getting, accumulating more and more people. I'm a firefighter and in the fire service, everybody's job is important and it's the same here. You know, it doesn't matter if you're sanding or drilling or donating a box of pillows. Everything matters. Today the team is moving the 500th and 501st beds into Rachel White's new apartment in South Burlington. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Rachel's family has their own milestone to celebrate. After three years of living apart, Rachel's sons are moving into mommy's new house. Today I got new beds for the boys from the nice people from Sleep in Heavenly Peace. This is the 500th bed that we've made and delivered since September of 2019. I feel very special and blessed to have this bed, like to be that special number. You know, we have a lot of people that are coming out of transitional housing, people from the Lund Center, people that have been at homeless shelters for a year and they finally got an apartment and they're moving in and and then they tell you, we have nothing for the kids to sleep on. I just graduated from the Lund program, so I'm moving here from there. So I've pretty much been in lockdown <laughs> for a long time. So I am, yes, COVID is a very tragic, stressful thing. Good. Yep. I'm in a group on Facebook called Helping Others, and I always see people referring Sleep in Heavenly Peace or Talk to Bob, and um, I never thought much of it until one of my friends got beds from them and like put pictures on Facebook, like, and she did it really fast too. And I was like, oh wow, like that's a legitimate real thing. That's amazing. So I reached out. Coming from the Lund home, and she's uh, getting her apartment on Monday, and she said, once, once we get in the apartment, the kids don't have anything to sleep on. And I said, we'll be there Tuesday. You don't know what people go through or 
their heart, you know, or what they're trying to do or what they've been through and how much they've accomplished in their life, what problems they face in their upbringing. I have had experience with stigma and it sucks. It doesn't feel good at all because I'm just a mother trying to have a family and raise my children right. Loved, loved them. <laughs> they were just here to help and no judgment. I didn't feel, I felt at home and safe with them. We still have uh, well, three more deliveries today and then we're going out to Franklin County on Saturday. So in a couple of weeks, the 40 beds that we made the other day will all be gone and we'll be ready to start the whole process over again. I feel like it's important to give back. You know, we're all human and we all should help each other the best we can. We're all here for the same reason. Thank you so much. Thanks to everybody, and we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Laura keep me making bed, she's gonna I did a bad idea. Oh, you know how to do that. Oh, okay. Last Saturday when we made bed, he was vacuuming. Oh, Ha, ha, ha.